Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm going to be doing a video of my Halo book collection. Um, just my book collection, nothing else. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First book is Halo, The Cold Protocol. Now I haven't read this book yet. Um, I haven't got to it at all. Uh, I, I don't know, I just haven't got time to read it. I've been probably, like I've been finished reading up Krypton, which I will tell you about later in the video um but i haven't heard from many people that it's all awesome, like very good i don't know but i'm still gonna read it um if, if you want to know more about it here's the back description but yeah pro cold protocol by looking at the cover it looks actually pretty good but yeah contact harvest haven't read yet um but assuming by the word contact harvest it's um, probably a prequel or set in the timeline of Halo Wars, the start of the Human Covenant War. That's how it began, so. so can't tell you much about it because I haven't read it, so. Yeah, here's the back. If you want to read the description. Now, I know some people are going to hate on me for this, but yes, I have not read Ghost of the Onyx yet. Yes, I know. I have heard from people this is one of the best Halo books out there right now that you can get. Um, I have not read it yet. I am on page I think it's 40, 40 something, I don't know. Um, I have not gotten to reading this one yet. Um, I really want to get to reading it after I'm done finishing the book right there, which I will tell you in a minute. Um, um, but yeah, I really got to get to reading this one. Th this, this one will probably be the next one. No, no, actually, no. Because by the time I'm done reading that one, Primordium, book two of... Uh, book 2 of the Foreigner Saga, the sequel to Cryptum, will be coming out. So probably after I finish Primordium, I'll start reading Ghost of the Onyx for sure. But, yeah. I really, yeah. This one, I've heard from a lot of people that it's the best one. Or the best Halo book out right now. So, if you get the chance, read this one. Well, that's what people are telling me. But yeah, read this one because I've heard from a lot of people it is really good. So, that's Ghost of the Onyx. Oh, and if you want to... Pause the video. Here's the back. Yeah. Uh, Halo Fall Reach, I have read. Um, very, very awesome. Basically follows the story of John 117, or the Master Chief, and how he escapes Reach. Now, if you guys have seen Halo Reach, at the ending, you see he gets on the Pillar of Autumn, you know. This does not follow Noble Team. This follows uh, John's story, and how he escapes Reach. And how Linda, Fred, Kelly, Kurt, and all those other Spartans, how they... Escape Reach. So yeah, I recommend you reading this one first before you read any of the other ones. I mean, you could, I guess, if you're going story-wise, yeah, you might want to read Contact Harvest, then The Cold Protocol, and then Fall of Reach. But if you just want to read them randomly, I would actually just start with The Fall of Reach because, in my perspective, I haven't read Ghost of the Onyx yet. Probably one of the best ones I've read next to Cryptum, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you check this out. It's very awesome. Here's the back. So, yeah. That's Halo of the Fall Reach. Halo of the Flood, um, I have also read. Um, it's basically just Halo 1 in the more depth, basically. That's all it is. Um, but yeah, I have read it. I th this was, like I think, the first Halo book I've read. Um, but yeah, that's Halo of the Flood. I recommend you reading this as well. It actually gives very good backstory into Halo. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Halo the First Strike. Uh, this one is a sequel to Halo the Flood. So, basically after the events of Halo Combat Evolved and what happens between the period of Halo 2 and Halo 1. Um, follows the story of Master Chief and Linda. Um, this book actually takes place right after you see... Um, Master Chief, and I believe it's the Saber, correct me if I'm wrong, um, when he's flying away, uh, he goes, he actually goes back to Reach and looks for missing Spartans, um, but, yeah, it's very good. Next to Fallout Reach that I've read, it's amazing. But yeah, that's Halo First Strike. Um, here's the back. Halo Evolutions, I have not got to reading yet, and probably won't get to reading, because this is probably the one I'm least interested in. Um, it is written by 
Oh, this glare. Holy crap. It is written by six different, uh, wow. Six different authors. Um, Karen Travis, Eric Nylon. But, yeah. This one will probably be, like, the last one I start reading. I'm not sure. I just bought it just to have all the Halo books. But, that's Halo Evolutions. <sighs> okay. Um, then we got Halo Cryptum. Now, this book I just recently finished, I think, on Thursday. Um, this book is amazing. If you are highly interested in the Forerunners like I am, and you want to know more of their backstory, um, I highly, rec highly recommend you reading this book. And it actually gives hints to Halo 4 and stuff, so that's also a very good thing as well. So, yeah, here's the back. Um, this book basically talks about the Forerunners, like, what they did when they were actually still alive, keyword alive, um, and it follows the story of Bornsteller, he, I mean, I can't really explain it, it's kind of hard to explain, but it is an amazing book, it, um, talks about, yeah, like I said, it talks about the Forerunners and what they did when they were alive, um, it follows a character called the Diet. ah, but, <laughs> My bad, sorry. It follows a character called the Didact, um, Riser, Bornsteller, and I think I said his name right. Am I right? Yeah, Bornsteller. Okay. Yeah, it basically follows them and more characters, but yeah, it is, it's an awesome book. I love it. Um, if you get the chance, read it. If you want to know more of the, like, if you, if you want to learn hints of, uh, Halo 4. But yeah, I highly recommend you reading this. It's a very, very good book. And the last one, and the one that I will start reading tomorrow, and the one that I'm actually very highly anticipated for next to Primordium, which is coming out in January, the sequel to that book, is Halo Glasslands. Now, some people are going to ask me, why will you start reading Halo Glasslands before Halo Ghosts of Onyx? Well, the reason I'm going to start reading Glasslands is because, one, I don't know, Glasslands just seems more interesting, and it just seems like it's going to be, it's, it's just going to be amazing, and... It's set after um, Halo 3, so this is going to be the first book out that we will get to see what happens after Halo 3. And just by judging by the back, it, it sounds absolutely amazing. Now, there is some spoilers from Ghost of Onyx, I guess, because this, this book is basically a sequel to Ghost of Onyx. Um, but yeah, uh, I will actually start reading this one tomorrow. Um, it is... Cryptum took me like three weeks to read. Um, this book will probably take me about I don't know four weeks, maybe a month. I'm I'm not sure. I'm kind of a slow reader, but um, yeah. Um, uh, that's basically all my Halo books as of well. I have every Halo book right now. Um, oh sorry, but yeah. I have um every Halo book as of right now, and uh. This one I will start reading tomorrow because it just seems really interesting. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to show you my Halo book collection. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, just press thumbs up, um, subscribe, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys later.